sometime yesterday can seem a million years away and I'll forget exactly what to say when asked about my past time is my Hello, it's Rick Phelps. Um, today is 20th, 20, 20 some, 21st or something, maybe. Today's the 14th. <laughs> Jeez. Um, having a difficult day here I had a terrible day yesterday and last night when you have these days it uh, totally drains you physically and mentally it uh, makes it so you don't want to do anything and confusion sets in and a lot of other things that I can't even explain but I wanted to try to get through this today and tell people that my feelings are that's what I always say and these are just my thoughts but I just can't help but think you know we talk about stages with this disease well I usually don't because I don't go by stages but the Alzheimer's Association I think it's seven different stages or something but Excuse me. Um, uh, the reason why I don't go by stages my, myself personally because I, I'm in and out of different stages every day. Yesterday and today feels like about a, I don't know, maybe a five <laughs> or something. And uh, it doesn't last. At least it hasn't ever. I hope this doesn't either. But... Um, I had a string of good days, several good days. I don't remember, but I don't think I had any bad. I don't think I've had a bad day for a while. So I don't like to complain when I do have one, but it's just um, makes everything tough to do. Um, but anyway, the stages, like I said, uh, I don't go by them because I, I'm in and out of stages all week long <laughs> so oh I know I was gonna say um, I try to explain these bad days the best I can the confusion and and being able to think of words and of course I'm rubbing my eyes and I'm tired that's what it does to you too but anyway um, I just can't help but wonder or think what happens to somebody that's uh, I mean, you don't even have to be elderly, but I just assume this. Well, you don't have to be, but if you get somebody that's in, in the later end stage of this disease, you know, I mean, I've read on here on Memory People before about agitated people, you know, and their bursts of violence and, and argumentative, and I can certainly understand that because it, it turns your world upside down is what it does. Uh, I don't know. I suppose if you think about uh, someone passing away, I remember when our daughter Jody passed away, I went through a de deep, deep depression for a long, long time, four or five years, I suppose, a long time. Anyway, I would think, I think that that's the way this is. I mean... I take uh, medication for it, anti-anxiety and uh, Zoloft, I don't know, I take, I don't know what I take, I take about eight pills a day plus the patch, but just this morning I was supposed to take, let's see, pill and a half I think or something, and I told Phyllis June I'm going to take two of them babies because I know what's coming today and if I do get tired and fall asleep and whatever, it doesn't matter. I'd rather be asleep and deal with this. Um, so I guess what I'm trying to say, if you're a caregiver, um, 
Now, once again, this is my perspective, but if you are a caregiver and your loved one is having, or even, you know, some people don't have good days anymore. They just have all bad days and they're just confused all the time. Um, I know how hard it's got to be to be a caregiver. I've always said that from day one, that the caregivers are the backbone of this disease because they have to deal with it all the time and the aggravation and the repeating. I know I repeat myself all the time. And I, This morning we sat here and had coffee and tea. I got up at 3.30 or something like that and got full sub. Well, I didn't get her up. I forgot to get her up. <laughs> But anyway, um, we, I couldn't tell you now what we talked about, but whatever it is, it's, it was hard to get, hard to keep uh, um, track of or remember what we, we was talking about. And that's how this disease is on my bad days. I just can't comprehend, I just can't keep on track on anything. <laughs> Jeez. Um, I don't know whether it's the weather or, you know, the shorter days. Every time you go through this, you try to think of excuses of why you're going through it. <laughs> that's another thing. I don't know. It's just a disease. That's, that's the excuse. It's a disease, and there ain't nothing you can do about it. So you just hope it doesn't last very long. I, I think my longest string was, I don't even know that, but let's say four or five days or something, or maybe three or four, but... Um, anyway, everybody on here will be, everything's going to be okay. Um, Leanne and the rest of the admins are doing an excellent job, so I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Memory people going, that's for sure. So I'll, I'll get back in the swing of things here, maybe tomorrow. But, uh, I surely can't figure out what's going on today, so... Um, all right, I'm just rambling here, <coughs> but that, <coughs> excuse me, that's what happens. I, I, I had all intentions of talking about something on this video, but I didn't want to write anything down because <laughs> I would have forgot what it was anyway. So I just thought I'd do one and say that it's not the best days that I've had so far but it's early and might get better so I'm just gonna kinda take it easy today <laughs> like I do every day jeez <clears throat> so if uh, I know it bothers me that I don't remember things <clears throat> I know it has to bother other patients because it absolutely when you lose your short-term memory, it's terrible. But, you know, <clears throat> as this disease progresses, you lose your long-term memory. And your short-term memory is already gone. So, I don't know uh, which is worse. So, <clears throat> I keep doing these videos because they help people. I'm, I'm hoping they do so. We'll get through this together like we always do <clears throat> and uh, be it a caregiver, or patient, or advocate, we'll uh, keep fighting the good fight. So, all right, have a good day and uh, I'll uh, talk to you later. Okay, find my cursor. This is a struggle in itself. Uh.